Greetings everyone, and Greed here of another King's Wrath replay. So on the north side as the yellow Zocom, we have Nanu Wolen Wama. So on the south side as the orange random, we have Zemeister. Ever pronounce that? <clears throat> Extermeister? I have no idea. Let's see now. It is Zocom. So it's a Zocom mirror. You don't really see Zocom all too often, and now we do have a mirror matchup. Rifleman squad advancing on forward. They may find the Rifleman squads. There's no... The Tiberium spikes on the bottom corners of the map. Wasn't the Tiberium spikes like here and here? So this map update may have just changed the Tiberium spikes to safe spikes rather than contestable spikes. Probably because some factions get... Can do it, uh, can catch the uh, Typhoon Spikes much easier. Nod has the worst time, and probably Black Hand and even Mark of Cain could probably do it uh, the best. Screen can be hit or miss, though depends how many buzzers you throw at your opponent. This Rifleman squad will receive some Tiberium poisoning, so he's going to. You, this is a primary scouting squad, he really must make sure he gets scout, and this box school is going to rip him apart. They all get gunned down there. We've got another foxhole here, and it looks like another rifle squad does get gunned down. So both sides will not get any sort of scouting, and yellow is rushing. We do have a APC of an engineer being pushed on forward. I doubt he's eyeing for the EMP control center. It's going off to the side. So he's going to try for some sort of APC uh, capture. We do, of course, have rocket harvesters for Zocom, which I'm not exactly sure how effective those rockets are versus APCs, honestly. Since your opponent has gone, uh, did not your scouting, maybe a good idea to go for an early pit bull just in case. The harvesters can be brought off the line to hit that uh, APC. Good damage there on the har on that uh, APC now. And should have, and there's the engineer, watchtower, lining up a shot, it gets gunned down before the war factory gets captured. And now the rock harvesters should manage to finish off it off, or maybe not. Can't fire well docked. APC is still alive, maybe able to retrieve it. More rock harvesters over here. And it looks like both players are eyeing their expansion now. Oh, I heard a bit of fire there. Must have mistaken. Oh, that uh, icon must have been the guys getting to some Tiberium poisoning. Where is that APC? Did that APC lay some landmines over here? It does not look like it. And the APC did go down there. How annoying would it be if the APC would have took time to build over the boy landmines in this Tiberium field? Do you also have this uh, right from the squad from the northern Zocom player, Yellow Zocom? So you should be able to detect anything that advances forward. Now this refinery has been pulled out and has been turned off. Multiple harvesters have been pushed over here. He could perhaps, since he pushed so many harvesters over there, he could perhaps take time to sell off one of these refineries. Though currently both have harvesters docked into them. Sell off one of the refineries. This one's more exposed. Because you don't need them at this point in time. Over here, Yellow has not deployed out any refineries just yet. And he has gone for an airfield. Those things low on Tiberium. Bone credits. We got a good wave of pit bulls being fought as well. So yellow's eyeing for more aggression. Orange is nice, being happy, of contenting with uh with the eco. And now we've got a orange actually is gonna push forward some pit bulls. Though so he's sort of just dancing around a little bit, maybe trying to scout out. But he may have sought these saw these uh, pit bulls there. He does have this garrison well garrisoned. So he did spot these pit bulls, and now the pit bulls will be engaging the pit bulls. But it looks like Orange has a significantly more number of pit bulls here. Yellow does get a good first shot there, and now we'll be getting some great damage on one of these pit bulls. One pit bull does go down for Orange. Orange still has plenty of numerical advantage. We may see this orc. No, those are pit bulls. I was thinking about oh, the orc was advancing forward. Does take up the foxhole, no problem. Yellow still gains some good damage there, and does push forward to reverse move a couple of more pit bulls. You have these uh, 
Rifleman Dink 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 Garrison. We're seeing a lot of uh, rocket fire there. Does get splashed down right there. <clears throat> now Orange is going to advance forward of a massive wave of pit bulls. He could patch the IFR Tech uh, Lab in order to get a pit bull mortar. There's many pit bulls, and maybe good idea to go for that mortar. And that garrison, the Apoxel, does get destroyed out as well. This is his garrison there. Yell's going to try to defend these pit bulls. There's something uh, queued up right there. Multiple defensive watchtowers have been put on the field. They also have armor piercing rounds as well. And those are hammerheads, not orcas. Has gotten already ceramic armor as well. So these are already fully upgraded hammerheads, just not fully garrisoned. And honestly, against pit bulls, either going for rockets or oracle riflemen would be half bad. Rockets would probably do a lot of overkill against pit bulls. So riflemen loading up all those hammerheads with riflemen wouldn't be half bad. But be able to target independently a little bit better, not overkill as much. Pitbulls be seeing much needed repairs. Of course, hammerheads are not going to be very useful when your opponent has a mass pit bulls. Green's a little bit low in Tiberium. He does have two refineries here. He's a little bit backed up. And Yellow may want to start eyeing an expansion now. He does pull out Tech Lab now. Which, of course, you can't. don't have access to rail guns as Zocom. You still have access to the mortar as those well Tungsten AA rounds. What the hell? Triple airfield right here. It sells off one of them because there's just far too many. And now we got these Predator tanks advancing on board. Predator tanks could draw quite a bit of fire for him. Rifleman, of course, does spot it. And, oh, I think those may have been Bloodhounds. There's two veteran ones there. Yep, he does have Bloodhounds. Having access to both the veteran APCs and veteran pit bulls. These horses are being shooting in one at a time, so Yell's uh, swatting them down one time, but here comes a massive wave of pit bulls. He needs to start focusing out those uh, hammerheads. They took so much splash damage there. All the hammerheads are now down thanks to that splash damage. Horse now advancing on Fort's boat. It's a very, very messy fight. It's very messy. I think Yellow will manage to hold the line. Harvester's getting some good damage on it, but have received a lot of abuse themselves. And it looks like Orange's uh, pit bulls are now being focused down there by these hammerheads. Hammerheads will need some repairs. And almost all Yellow's pit bulls are down as well. But now got Orange's hammerheads advancing on forward. Getting some great damage there. They filled up some of them, filled up some riflemen. Orange hammerheads are almost down. And we've got Tungsten AA, or Slingshot going on outfield. No Tungsten AA. This is time for out uh, Tungsten Armor Piercing Rounds because both sides can go for mass hammerheads because it's, it's Zocom. They have ceramic flight armor. They get some very, very durable aircraft. Looks like both sides have backed off from each other. Orange has gotten the first refinery down for expansion. Yellow has not moved to this harvester just yet. And this Tib Spike has not been claimed. That is somewhat to note. Let's see. Tech Center does not have Tungsten AA rounds being researched. And there's no tech lab over here, Marv is there? Complete. Wait. Marv? Yellow has gone for Marv. He needs to get out some Zocom uh, Zone Raiders to pull it on the, to help uh, really buff up the Marv. Zone Raider Marv is very, very good. I think those are some zone raiders, maybe some engineers. In class, take time to pull out an engineer to capture the Tiberium spike. Double barracks as well. Zone raiders are not that quick. They even shoot uh, laser fencing the reclamator hub. Zone raider not to pull out on the field. Oh, and now we've got these predator tanks pushing way forward, but these hammerheads are able to quickly them out. So some of these hearts are quite wounded. That may have been just meant for a reconnaissance. An armored recon force, if you will. Orange now has both refineries over here. Has a bit too many harvesters for these refineries, so he does not need to... Losing harvesters will be fine this time. Has to an armory here. Giant eye for like it's a man spam. Getting the, probably going to get the Tiberium Field suit upgrade. And... Oh! Get those out of the field! Wait. 
Okay, that Rifleman Squad, these Rifleman Squads have the, uh, Missile Trooper symbols. That has to be an, uh, bug there. Wait, they're also yellow? Are these guys? Okay, we do got the, uh, armor there. That was a bit weird. They had a different armor scheme as well. And he did lose a large number of those rifle models. Oh, what did I miss here? We do have these hammerheads pushing me forward. I think these hammerheads, more hammerheads got shot down over here. He was now eyeing to long this harvest and does manage to uh, take a swipe of his marv as well. He must be a bit hurting on his economy. He's gone for triple zone raider in the back of that, in that marv and one engineer. Usually people go for two and two, but this time it's a three and one. Hyperium suit, missile squads now advancing on forward. He will spot Yellow's Harvester there. Har Yellow's Harvester does get a crush on one of those models. Does three of the models. And does take out that Harvester now. Bloodhounds have been deployed on a field to support out the Marv. And now got more Bloodhounds being deployed on a field. And the... What's it called? The... Pitbulls do take a quick uh, pass at them. Takes out the airfield now. Got a large number of slingshots in this region, which they can start. To, they could try actually push forward Lonmo and run down these missile squads. But now the Mars fancy forward are annihilating this infrastructure. We've got a rig here. The rig can be. Was it that's Yellow's rig? No. Yeah, that's actually Yellow's rig. It's hard to tell, but that is Yellow's rig. So he does did push a rig to support out the Mar for forward repairs. So these things are also being pushed on forward. A large number of, of these troops have been cleaned on up, and now they're all almost kind of cleaned up, barring the uh, bloodhounds of his opponent. Oh, we have this Mar still cleaving through uh, Orange's base. Don't really want to lose all that infrastructure there. That infrastructure is still important. He's pushing back, pull back all these missile squads to deal with that Marv. He has to point out, oh, he needs power. He needs to also up with command for a shockwave artillery. Rig needs to stop, not get too close, pack up or, or set up on early to get the repairs for the mark. And here comes shockwave artillery. Does get a direct hit there onto the mark, and the battle base does get uh, hit as well, denying those repairs. Zone Rooter drop pods have been pulled out on field as well, getting a nice flank, taking out the rig there, and get some great damage there on the mark. Zone Raiders, of course, very effective. Pitbulls pushing before, but Pitbulls is not going to see used against uh, Zone Raiders. We got some slingshots here. Uh, those are orange slingshots. Yellow does, of course, lose a Mar, but he's going to be ex as expanded down south. Orange has consumed most of his Tiberium. He may want just a long distance harvest for this stuff here. He has a. We saw he had a lot of harvest, but he does not need to expand out normally. Let's get a fully heroic slingshot by running over infantry. And even though it's the same damage, it will heal himself back up. Got a Grenadier here. Could throw, throw them perhaps inside the APCs while at it. Might as well. But as I was saying before, and Orange has so many harvesters, he ha he can long distance harvest these fields. He does not have to re expand. There's no type of field uh, suits for these yellow infantry. This is going to go for mass APC riflemen. Very, very nice. <coughs> he still has the uh, Reclamator hub as well. That could be another Marv. And a Marv loadup of riflemen wouldn't necessarily be half bad. Oh, that, that's definitely not a Marv. Much, much smaller than Marv. And has a couple extra set of wheels. His infantry is getting annihilated. He does not have a whole lot of riflemen to escort his forces, but now we've got the APC Spanks aboard. Load up with some of them, we'll load up with some female riflemen. Got also a single Predator in here that's very important. And now we've got a Orbital Strike now running on top of a Reclamator Hub. Most of these uh, rock troops have been cleaned on up, but there's still a handful of predators which will give or yellow a bit of problems for his defense. That orbital strike was not worth it. Most of the time, orbital strike is just not worth it. 
Glaze of Defense has gone down. And now the Lucker Reckler Mirror Hub is still seeing a bit of fire. More the APCs have seen a bit of repair. Sells off the board, does the Reckler Mirror Hub destroyed. He has a single zone raider there. If he has an armor still around, he can throw the zone raider into the armor to get it fully reinforced. And his AP armor is starting to focus down these Predator tanks. Predator tanks have a good transition currently against his opponent's uh, current composition. Predator tanks have been cleaned on up. Is the armory still on the field? No, we do not see the armory still on the field. <coughs> Orange does fall back in this army here. Looks like all the zone raiders went down. Zone raiders do have a missile pod on their back for anti aircraft purposes. Good damage there from those zone raiders dropped by a drop pod. Now, every day you actually see them actually deployed out like that. APCs coming to respond to deal with these zone raiders. Zone raiders can say a bit of abuse. And they managed to save the war factory as well. Yo has a good number of APCs and, and good buy for counterattack. Orange needs to pull out more predator tanks and not more missile squads. Though pulling, putting missile squads inside the APCs wouldn't be half bad. And Orange actually has expanded down south. And yellow as well. Both APCs are, or MCVs on this region. We got multiple watchtowers pulled out by Orange here. Yellow's facing forward with all of these uh, APCs. Looks like the Zone Raider, she is loaded up in the back of one of those APCs. And the Pit Bulls are getting a bit of damage there. Except some of those Pit Bulls, we got Pit Bull Mortar pulled out by Orange. And Orange looks like will force yellow out of this region. Just not enough APCs, not enough items to counter the opponent's APCs. Yellow's trying to save his APC, but APC does go down. Still good. And these APCs are starting to be whittled down as well. So they just need to fall back. They're oh so wounded. Oh, got a single hammerhead there going down to the missile squads and slingshots. There's far too many slingshots for that. Hmm. Where's all the harvesters for yellow? It does keep that one there, which can help clean up those fields. More hammerheads here. Nia's side has gone for the Tungsten AA shells, so these slingshots only do the base damage, not any additional damage. And his harvester pushed a little too far. Fires off one rock before going down. Slingshots push away forward, get some good volleys there on those hammerheads. One of them do go down. Airfield will now go down. These pit bull mortars do some great damage for some structures. Gotta be careful with the slingshots. Orca bomb run gets a good hit there, slicing through a number of those pit bulls. Upgraded power plant may go down as well. So, uh, blade defense the command post. Yellow's not facing forward. Still no predator takes support out. Yeah, yellow. Some these slingshots are going to be hit as well. You know, those slingshots could allow them to get some more damage onto those uh, other units with aircraft, but the pit bull, or not the, the pit bulls and the APCs can hit air. Mortal mortar hits there onto that refinery. It's like some of those rocket infantry squads. As they got the refinery there, and now it's going to be focused on the pit bulls first, as well as the missile squads. Good focus firing there, and the uh, slingshot goes forward for some more crushes. This rocket harvester is seeing a lot of fire there. The missile, the missile launch on the back of the harvester just does not do have a lot of range. It's really not that. Don't rely on the missiles unless you're really desperate. Yellow has plenty of Tiberian here to collect. Orange is scraping the bottom of the barrel. We do now have a Marvin slowdown. down. Sells off the uh, Rick Raider hub immediately. Throws that zone a raider into the Marv. 
and I've got an engineer another engineer could perhaps deploy out a something to get out another zone raider on armory or could perhaps throw a missile squad in the back of it oh there's another zone raider it still has a power plant up there interestingly enough and yellow does not have mcv We do now have a zone shatterer deployed on the field. Does have the overload beam ability. Oh yeah, zone shatterer like fires off something a little bit different, right? Not it's not the sound ability. I always forget that zone shatterer even exists. It's hard to even remember sometimes this uh, regular shatterer even exists. damage there. Guess we can do some of these predator tanks. Orange space is being gutted. And we've got some yellow predators here as well. Bar is now advancing on forward. It should be very effective for all this infrastructure. Yellow still has this power plant up here, so it's going to become a base race situation very, very quickly. Orange sells off all that infrastructure. Uh, why did the orange sell off all that infrastructure? I'm not sure where Orange's MCV is at. Hold who's packed up and moved out. Because he only has a barracks remains here. There's Orange's MCV. That's why. That's where it is. This power plant's being picked up. Yellow still has that power plant up north. And Yellow's infrastructure will go on down. Yellow's trying to pursue that MCV. And Orange still has a power plant down here. And it's not being pursued. Maybe it's not being pursued by these... Uh, by these APCs. We've got the rock cars have been pulled off the line. Rock harvester versus rock harvesters. And there is this construction yard. So yellow has seen the construction yard. Don't go for the Tiberian spike. Go for the construction yard. That's a lot of harvesters by orange. <coughs> Sorry about that. Orange now has supply refinery there, getting some extra structures. This power plant has been either sold off or destroyed. Yellow, that's his army. Orange likely knows about that power plant there. This power plant is still alive. And Orange Marvs is going to camp this region. I don't think Yellow can push forward and kill off all this infrastructure. If Orange just literally spams out power plants, he'd probably be just fine. You don't have to worry about production. You just need to worry about stalling. Navarre's not going to make Brave his way down south. War Factory deployed on the field. Very nice. And this is the last of Yellow's army. And Yellow's power plant fell in the siege. And that's Yellow's last stru uh, structure. That's going to be game. Oh, he did not realize the fact that he just ran past that uh, power plant, didn't he? Yellow's not fans forward. Does have his APCs in the mix. Zone Shatterer now at Veteran C. Leaving through some of these part of tanks there, but there goes the Zone Shatterer. Because there's simply just too much infrastructure for him to take out. The Yellow's power plant up north is not being hit. The Heroic APC is getting some nice health regen there. It does take out that Predator tank. He also has a Predator tank here. And the Marv will just simply hard counter anything there. Orange's pit bulls are there. Not realizing he went past that refinery. Is Orange going to whip this game? Not finding Yellow's power plant? Or not realizing he found his power plant? Orange's doing a good job of... Or Yellow's doing a good job of hit, hit and running Orange's base. Of course, Orange has economy. He has units to blow out. So a lot of these predator tanks are getting camped one by one. He has this uh, construction yard going for guardian cannons wouldn't be half bad right now. There's the pit bulls, and that's gonna be game. This Andrew Gray saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.